Hey, how's it going out there, my friends? Josh here with Desert Gardens Homestead. I have before us a very healthy and happy clump of Raja Puri banana. And I have all kinds of various pups growing. I think I probably have six or seven little pups in this clump. And I need to reduce it down a bit. Ideally, we should have mm, between three and four with the mature one being the next fruiting. Having a medium sized one is the fruiting variety for next year. And then a baby pup or two for the following year. So you always wanna have a succession of various bananas in one clump. But if you have too many suckers or babies or pups in one clump, it certainly takes from the nutrition of the clump and they're really heavy feeders. So the more that you have in a clump, the more food they need and also the more water they need. So it is certainly best to have them into a manageable number. And so what I wanna do here is this guy right here is pushing four feet tall. And I wanna take this one out and I wanna play with it and try to do some macro propagation or tissue culture with it. And so I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. Now I just need to fill in this hole with some good potting soil, or excuse me, good garden soil. And I'm going to seize the opportunity here with this gaping hole in this clump. clump. I'm going to be adding some of my bone and biochar along with some aged compost and garden soil. And just look at the beauty in this. Look at that bone jar. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those pores. Okay, now that I've got the hole filled back up, I'm going to cover it with the mulch. And as soon as some of these smaller pups that are about four to six inches, it to be about a foot to two feet, I'll go ahead and start removing them as well to narrow down this clump to probably about three is the number that I like to keep them at. Here is the removed banana. And so I don't need any of the trunk. That will be goat food. So what I'm gonna do is take my machete and I'm just gonna lop the whole trunk of it off. I could have probably went a little bit lower, but I'll go ahead and feed this to my goats. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean that root mass of all the soil, and then I'll start shaving it down. If you grow banana at home, banana or goats absolutely love banana. And so after a banana fruits, you cut down that stalk because it's no good any longer and the banana stalks or any stalks such as this, even the leaves, dried leaves, green leaves, doesn't matter. My goats absolutely love banana. It is one of their guilty pleasures and I love feeding it to them. Okay, now that I've got the banana out and cleaned off to the best of my ability, I see all these various buds going around the base of this banana. 
and those are what I'm after. So I'm going to trim the stem down a little bit further, and I'm going to go ahead and clean off the roots, and then I'll start uh, propagating some of these buds. And this is goat food. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning off all the excess roots. Okay, well I've got it cleaned up the best I could. And if you just flip it around, you can see all the various buds. Here's one there. There's another one right there. And I counted them. There's about nine of them on here. So what I wanna do is grab my trusty grafting knife and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut them out. I'm gonna be cutting them in like a rectangle shape and they're gonna be, oh, about a quarter to a half inch thick. Well, unfortunately, my phone turned off. It overheated in the desert sun. I was able to get eight tissue samples from this uh, banana comb. And so what I want to do is I've got some Dawn dish soap with water. I'm going to go ahead and clean these off and disinfect them. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this pot full of potting soil, really good potting so soil with bi biochar. And then I'm gonna go ahead, and it still has a few roots on here, and this merry stem right into the center of this banana comb very well may shoot up another uh, banana pup, just right from the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and repot this and see how it does. So hang with me. I'll water this one in real good and we will cross our fingers. There's no guarantee I'll get a new banana from it, but there is a possibility. They're pretty tough plants. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start this one with just some of the cheap potting soil. I'm running low on my biochar mix, so I just have to be a little cognizant of that.
Okay, got it so a little past halfway full with the cheap stuff. And then I'll just go ahead and fill it with my good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to leave a few inches so that I can put the tissue samples onto the soil. But first, I just need to wash them off. So let's turn you around here. And there's my dish soap. Okay, and I received eight total. I don't think I'd mentioned that, but I was able to get eight different buds coming off the main comb. And so what I want to do, let me get you back into position here. I put those onto the table, and so I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just putting them all into one main pot just to save space. And then once they start growing up, I'll be able to separate them. It's going to take about three weeks to a month. For me to see new growth coming from these banana and once they start growing up then i'll just be able to pull them out and pot them up individually that was a pretty good size one there i'm pretty confident that is a bud but we shall see and there they are there's all eight perfectly spaced now all I have to do is go ahead and fill the remainder of it up. So if I play my cards right here, if I get 100% out of these bud tissues along with the old stock, I could po possibly make nine new banana from one banana pup. So not too shabby. And I'll do an update video as soon as I see some progress and I'll let you know exactly how it turned out. They don't have to be super deep. Like I said, they'll probably just have a couple inches of good potting soil on with the biochar, with my good sunshine mix, mixed in with the cheap stuff. And then I'll just wanna keep this moist. So I'll water it maybe every other day, keep it in the shade in the greenhouse. And as soon as I see some new growth, I will bring you back for an update. And I will not be putting any mulch on these. I'll just leave them as is. And we'll take it from there. So I surely do appreciate you stopping in. This is how I propagate banana via tissue culture. And there are quite a few different ways of propagating banana. But if you're looking for mass propagation, this is a very good technique. So once again, thank you for stopping in and viewing this video. Thank you for taking the time to view this channel. And I hope you have a great and blessed day today. God bless. Take care.